So as you can see by the background, I'm not in my dorm room any longer. I have gone back home for the summer. Emerson's on summer break. Emerson is at home where he has a bookshelf that he can use that is a sitting here. But I can't show you guys yet because I've already reorganized it and I didn't do an intro for this video. And I came home and I just kind of started already moving my bookshelf around and started get, reorganizing it and I reorganized it twice before I finally tied it, before I got how it is. But it's so pretty how it is now. I like it. Um, not all of my books are on here. Some of the books I have on my TV stand, like slash bookshelf upstairs. And I guess I'll show you that little area up there. But this is my bookshelf reorganization video. I told you guys are just coming. So you should really expect it. This is, I'm trying to get this up by Monday. And then, but we'll see. Um, but I did it. I reorganized it. I'm happy with the end product after reorganizing it. Um, I don't have much else to say. So I'm gonna let you see past Emerson, which is just me yesterday reorganizing this the first time. And then I'm gonna take it through the reorganization a second time also. So, this is not fun. That's uh, you're gonna watch that and then you're gonna come back to this Emerson and he's gonna do the outro for you. <laughs> So...
the most tiring thing ever. I'm gonna pick up a tripod while I'm doing this, but like, this is my, I reorganized it. This is my second time organizing it today. I organized it earlier when I got back, which is the footage you saw. And I didn't really talk to you guys about what I was doing. When I came back down here, I've not been back down here for like hours on end, and I was like, I don't like it. And so I'm reorganizing it. And I think this shelf is the only shelf I really like. This is like all my romance and like miscellaneous right here. That's all my romance and like miscellaneous. So, like there's a couple mystery books. And then this is like a I think this is also a mystery book because it's looking for Alaska. And then I have like a non like a this is Zora Nero Hurston. Um once I went in school, but like I wanted it up here in a specific spot. So but like I don't know what I'm gonna do because I think I want I know for sure for sure I want my sign vision. A blood mark on display like I need this on display but like anything else I don't know what to do oh, I, can it again. I don't want this to kind of be in the eyesight so like you don't have to look down and you can like still be like standing and like staring at it Organizing. I'm going to leave this as it is for the night. You can get a sneak peek of a little bit behind me, but I'm gonna leave this as it is for tonight, and then I'm going to come back like down here whenever I wake up tomorrow, come look at it and see if I like it. And if I do, I'll give you a bookshelf tour. I know this video will be done, and I can edit it and it can go up as soon as possible, which will probably be like Monday. Or I'm gonna start reorganizing it again. But I'm hoping. I think I really like how it did this time around, so I'm hoping that it will stay that way and I can move on with life so let's all hope for the best <laughs> morning and we're gonna keep it organized I was organized right now um because I told you guys that I would talk to you 
if I liked it, and I do indeed like this. I sat down here and read for a little bit last night, and was looking at it, and was like, okay, yeah, I like it. So let's all let's give you a quick, brief run through of this, because you're gonna see it in every video background from now on. So this is like my romance era area. Um, so I have Seven Days in June, the Addicted series, and then I have two random mystery books that just kind of fit right here I, I don't i don't particularly know why i put them here but they're, they're here and then i have my dirty air series by laura asher um and i have my fantasy and my romance you know jordan this is my brother's corner so like that's how i separated it to start my stuff you see, you see i'm just so smart i know my next shelf starts my fantasy era area we all know i love me some good fantasy so let's Go through it. I have Legendborn, and then I have my signed edition of Bloodmarked sitting out right here because it deserves its time and the spotlight. So it's sitting out like this. I have these books behind it, but I think I might unhaul them. I'm not sure yet, but it might happen. Then I have these by the lights and our Violet M's, The Stolen Air, which is my Barnes and Noble exclusive edition, which is also just so very pretty. Um, and then I have a Magic Soup and Poison Blood Sayon, my Shades of Magic trilogy, which I want to try and get through this summer. And then I have the Rose and the Dagger, I mean, the Wrath of the Dawn and the Rose and the Dagger. And then I have a little space here for like one or two books if I can fit them, so. This is the next shelf down. So then I have my Emerald and Ashes Quartet right here. I kind of get this in paperback soon. I just don't know when. Um, and then I have Realm Breaker, Chain of Gold. I got this from a, a little free library that's on my campus, like on my way to my dining hall. And they didn't have a dust jacket. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> it's not a dust jacket, which I'm fine with. I'll like find a dust jacket somewhere and put it on there. Then I have Priory, The Way of Kings. And then I have like my little Grace of Earth corner. I'm going to move this eventually at some point. I don't know when. But my little Grease of Earth corner. So I have my Shadow and Bone trilogy. I have two copies of Sister Crows because this is a TV show cover. But I actually like it so I kept it. Um, and then I have that. And then I have the King of Scars duology. And then like I said Mistborn is just kind of sitting over here in the corner by itself. Um, it's fine. It's friendly. I promise. So. Um, but. I have my only Zodiac Academy book here, and I have All Our Hidden Gifts, The City of Brass, Belvedere in the Four Corners, which I love this book. Um, the Bridge Kingdom and the Traitor Queen, my Kiss of Deception trilogy by Mary E. Pearson, Beast of Prey, my Graceland Quartet, which actually a fake book in this came out recently, I just don't have it, so I need to get it. And then I have Six Crimson Crane, and then the only three books I have left in the Red Queen series, because I used the first one in an art project at school. So, we have this, like, bottom shelf here, which just has, like, school supplies for my brother, because he's in, like, seventh grade. Going into seventh grade next year, so, that's just there. And then, we have, like, all my miscellaneous books that didn't really fit anywhere else with any other genres, I guess. Um... I don't know what genre this is, so I couldn't tell you. Um, but I have Their Eyes Were Watching Guard by Zero Neil Hurston, The Hate You Give, The Weight of Blood, Firekeeper's Daughter, Looking for Alaska, I'm Keeping This for Sentiments of Value Only, and then The Catcher and The Rye. I, yeah. That's it for the bookshelf tour. This bookshelf is very pretty. Like, I just love the way it looks. It's so pretty, um, especially in the sunlight. So, you're back to this Emerson, but he's actually sitting in front of the bookshelf because he didn't want to spoil it in the intro clip. Isn't it pretty? Like, I just love the way this looks, especially because of how I'm sitting. Because I'm sitting in a chair, and I can, you can just see my books in the background. This is the perfect background. This is the background I want all the time. But I don't have that because I live in a dorm room with a tiny bookshelf. That's that's the gist of it. But yes, I reorganized it the first time. And I reorganized this this time, the second time. And I was like, okay, this is the way I want it. Um, And I really like this 
because there's going to be a background on my videos the whole summer. I've been putting up reorganizing this. I want to get new books. But I'm not going to try and buy too many books because y'all see this, right? This is like full. Like, I don't think I could possibly get more on here. So. <laughs> um. I hope you liked it. Because that reorganization took me so long. Like, I did it the first time. Went upstairs. Didn't look at it. Didn't come back down to look at it. And I came back down and I was like, I don't like it. And I reorganized it again. I'm wild. I know, but like, I wanted it to be perfect because it's my first time having bookshelf in so long that I was like, these have to be perfect. Um, and in my eyes, they are. So, I just love the way this looks. My signed edition of this book. Um, but that's it for today's video. It was short, it was sweet, it was just me. Figuring out how I wanted to put these books on the shelf. Um, now, this shelf may look different in the future because we want to get either like a wider, like a wider shelf, bookshelf, or one with more shelves on it. So, this bookshelf will change, but it'll look exactly like this. It'll just be like maybe a, either a different color or wider shelves. I don't, I, it, but it'll look the exact same. Just keep that in mind. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video because it was I had fun filming it I had fun doing this like I like reorganizing bookshelves really people don't but I do I'm one of those people who like it anyways I'm but I'm rambling on when I don't need to um but I hope you liked today's video if you did give it a big thumbs up subscribe tell your friends if you made it to this part of the video comment a star emoji because I'm the star for doing these bookshelves. Yeah? Great. Um, I hope you have a great day, evening, night, morning, afternoon, and whatever part of the world you're having it in. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next one.